Oh, hi everybody. We're back again today for our, let's see, what is this? Third episode of the game Name That Dino. It usually takes about 20 minutes or so, depending on how much conversation we all have. I'm not in any hurry because I don't have anywhere to go. So I'm assuming everybody else is in the same boat. So this is what we did yesterday, and it's a Parasaurolophus. Yeah. And today I have two guest hosts. Um, I'll let them introduce themselves. We're okay, so there's me, Ben. And then, hello. <laughs> and who are you, Mr. Hello? My name is Harrison. Yes, we have Ben and Harrison, my boys. So, um, hopefully we'll get started here pretty soon and everybody can have a little bit of fun. Is anybody logged in or anything yet? No, no one's on. Okay. Alright. Maybe I should, uh, I wonder if I can, oh yeah, maybe I'll do this. I'm gonna, as, while we wait for a minute or two to see if anybody joins in, um, maybe I should share on Facebook that, Well, nah. I'm just going to go ahead and start. You should share it. Okay, I'll share it. Because then that way no one would know that you're doing it. Well, I did, like, from Instagram. Hello? Not all people have Instagram, though. Hey, hey everybody, we are live on my Marie Stevens Art Facebook page playing another game of Name That Dino. For anybody who wants to join in, we are live right now. See you soon! Exclamation point. Yes, I just dictated to my phone. Oh crap. <laughs> I just recorded that. Ah, okay. I don't know how I... Okay, I'm just going to get started. Is anybody out there today? Two people are watching now. Oh, I've got two now? Oh, sweet. Okay. Hey, whoever you are that's watching, I don't know how to tell who's watching. Um, today, we're going to do Name That Dino again. Yesterday, we did this guy. And I'm going to let Ben tell you how the game works. So, what happens is Mom is going to start drawing a dinosaur and looking at what she's drawing you have to try and guess which dino dinosaur she's drawing and if you guess it correctly when she finishes then you win the picture and if multiple people guess it before she's done drawing then she'll ask you to put a number in the chat between one and ten and if you get the closest number to what she picked, you also win the picture. But that's only if multiple people guess it. Yes. And if you want to have a free download of the picture when it's done, just uh, send me a message and I'll tell you how to get a hold of that free art. So, let's get started. The animal, or the dinosaur, that we're doing today um, 
is from the late Cretaceous period. And he weighs about 990 pounds on average. So that's your first clue. Where's, I gotta see, am I, I wanna make sure that- Christine Wasser's joined. Yo, Christine, hello. How are you? I hope you are staying sane. I'm getting a little bit stir crazy. Okay, so what was the hint again? All right. The hint is, um, he weighs about 990 pounds. And nobody knows exactly how long his lifespan is. That's your first clue. All right. This guy, I'm going to start. 990? Mm-hmm. I always start with the feet. That way I know he's not going to fall off the page. And then I kind of make joints. And then I connect the joints. You guys remember that from the last video? You kind of make uh, points on the paper is like kind of like making connect the dots and if one joint is bigger like I'm looking at the knee the knee is bigger than this ankle thing or whatever that is so I make a bigger circle and then this is gonna be his waist oops I just broke my pastel they're very soft Okay, and then this guy is like not fully on the paper. I think I might have found it already. No way! I haven't even started. I've just drawn a bunch of dots. What do you think it is? No, no I, I, I'm not sure if I know what it is yet, but I searched up what I'm seeing right now and the hint that you gave. Yeah. And I think it starts with a P. I am not going to say anything until the end this time. He has one, two, three, four fingers, looks like. Almost kind of like an opposable thumb. Do you think we're related to the dinosaurs somehow? Oh. You don't think so? Yeah. But this guy has kind of like an opposable thumb. Well, yeah, we have opposable yeah, thumbs. So that's true. We are reptiles. I mean, we. Are, <laughs> I mean, we're eating animals. Uh, nope, Harrison. That's not correct. Okay. Harrison just showed me a picture of something that is incorrect. Is, is this it? I can't see that far, and I gotta concentrate. So, oh my gosh, let's see what's going on here. I can give it a little closer. But I'm Isn't it funny how sure terrible that. these look right from the beginning? Like, it just looks like a bunch of gobbledygook. That's the hip. Okay, where's his head? It's his back. I can give you my iPad on your left. No, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to know what you think yet. <laughs> Wait, that's his okay, one arm. Said a T -Rex. Nope. I am not going to do an easy one. Hi, Teddy, Freddy, and Lizzie, if you're on there. If you're or is it just there. you today, Christine? Yeah. <laughs> Did you Maybe. like it so much you wanted to just play by yourself? Oh, this one. Okay. Have faith in yourself, my free. My free? My free. Me wee. Re re. Those are all the nicknames I've had by small children in the past. Or. Murray. Yes. Yeah, Ben, let's hear how you used to say my name. Murray. That's what you said when you were like not even two, I think. 
when you didn't want to stay in your crib. Okay, we've got some hands. We got anybody else watching today? Maybe other maybe people are busy. They're getting the hang of this working from home business. <sighs> okay. Da, 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 da. We got we got a chest now and then we need to have the neck worked in here somehow. Christine said hi from the lassers. Hi lassers. Z -z -z -z. I need a bigger piece of paper. I screwed up. Cuz his head is going to is not going to be big enough. Alberto Soros. Nope. Christine. I could get you another paper if you want. But well, I don't want to have to start over. Yeah, it depends on if you want. Allosaurus. Uh, no. I almost forgot what it was called, but that's not what it is. La 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 Where is my light? Light yellow. Okay, he needs some... yellow here. Christine, were you able to download the Mr. Fine Frank? The Frank Freddy is texting. Oh, Freddy's talking now? Yes. Oh, you know what? I put his arm in the wrong location. Did that you? needs to go over. Again, I can get you another paper. That's okay. There's two people watching now. Everybody, I want to hear what's your favorite dinosaur of all time. That, that you know of. That you know. Is it an Acrocanthosaurus? It is not an Acrocanthosaurus or whatever you just said. Okay. Um. What's your all time favorite dinosaur? We want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Maybe you guys can draw some dinosaurs too and show me your work. I'd like to see what, what you guys draw. Is it a Baryonyx? Nope. Right now his head looks like a parrot. <laughs> P-A-C. But it is not a parrot. I can assure you. Mwah. I'm not sure what it is though. He's looking a little... Chunky. Chunky. Have you guys drawn any dinosaurs in our last three days? If you have, show me, a, put a picture up so we can see what you made. I like to see, I love seeing other kids' artwork and other people, adult artwork too. Is it a Lafosh? Yes. No. Okay. Negatory. So, Has anybody uh, um responded? Ben, can you read the responses? So there's another T Rex comment, and then there's just an, another. There, there's just another comment that says, just like F V F space V W Q. EW5QG. What the heck is that? <laughs> and then, um, okay, can, can I see the mouse so I can... Here, yeah, so here's the mouse. The comments. Not comments. The comments. So, is it spelled I-N-D-O-S-U-C-H-U-S? What's, no. Whatever that is, no. <laughs> I need a piece of scratch paper. Is it a pike pike knit esaurus? No. Okay. Hey, um, hey Ben, can you grab me a piece of printer paper that I can use for scratch paper? Yes. 
no looking at Mike Peterson. So I'm just going to take it. No looking at what? Why does this look so backwards? I'm having an off day, you guys. I don't know what... Like, I slept... I did not get out of bed until 11 o'clock this morning. I don't know what my problem is. I think just all the stuff going on is it, making it, me it, sleepy. Is it spelled, um... P-A-C-H-Y-C-E-P-H-A-L-O-S-A-U-R-S. Is that what somebody guessed? No. But is it a velociraptor? It is not a velociraptor. But my, that that was my guess. Hmm. The really, really long one. I think it's a parrot saurus. Because it looks like a parrot. But but does it start with a P? I'm not saying anything until the very end what it is. Christina Latham is back. Hi, Christina. And Gr Gracie and Audrey, I think, if I remember correctly. Um. Oh my gosh, this one looks like a carrot. No, um, Freddie has another guess. The Trudon. Nope. And then. A Pistachio? Yeah. A pistachio? No. No, it's not a pistachio. pistachio. It's a pistachiosaurus. No. Why do I not have gray? I is, need is gray. It a, is it spelled P S I T T A C O S A U R S? Pistachiosaurus? No. No. It's not a pistachiosaurus. No. <laughs> Mom! Is it a pistachio? Oh, I Pisaurus? need to give us no. I need to give you guys another clue from my thing. Um, it's a herbivore. Do you know what herbivores herb what herbivores are, you guys? Can somebody comment on what they think a herbivore is? Harrison and Ben know. Okay, I'm just opening a new tab instead of doing... See if there's any the comments, thing. Ben. Oh, the, the, there's another one that Christine said. A Herorosaurus? Nope. Herorosaurus? That's how I think you pronounce it. I just want to tell everybody that I'm very proud of everybody for adapting to this new way of life for the next few weeks. I told my boys I was super proud of them for not complaining about this whole not getting to have play dates and stuff right now. I know it's really hard, but I mean, it hasn't gotten too hard yet because we're all kind of homebodies anyway, but we're just in the beginning, so. You should all be proud of yourselves for everything you're doing to take everything in stride and take it one day at a time because that's about all you can do. That's what all you can do in every day of life. Just take it one day at a time. And... All right. Wow. I don't know if this one is going to be as good as this one was. This one, see, did the... This one yesterday probably looked about as bad as this one when I first started, right? I hope. <laughs> okay, i got to give him some chest. He needs a, some pectorals. He's kind of got a muscly chest. When, when I was searching for, for a certain thing, mm -hmm. it, it said it came up with a parasaurolophus. Hmm. And that was yesterday. Oh, that's from yesterday's search. Yeah. Huh. No, I I didn't I didn't search the same thing. But yeah. <laughs> I think we're gonna need to go outside and go for a walk around the neighborhood, or you can go ride your scooter. It's cold out today, though, isn't it? Compared to yesterday, holy cow. 
I guess it's Iowa. The land of crazy, ever-changing temperatures. Is it a hatching set? I'm going to give you another source? clue. It was discovered between 1959 and, no, I mean 1859 and 1860 by Ferdinand Van de Veer Hayden in Montana, near the head of the Missouri River. Wait, what, what date, what years? 1859 and 1860. Okay, so I, I'm going to ask you some certain things about that clue, because I'm... Is it a Pachycephalosaurus? That, that's... Anything's possible. That's, that's what I came up with. Keep that in your list of possibilities, I guess. Is it Pachycephalosaurus? Okay. Oh, it's a... I don't know. Man, it's already been 21 minutes? Has it? Oh my gosh, we're behind today. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not very fast today. Packy Cephalosaurus. Well, we did wait a few minutes for people to hop on, so. Yeah, we did. So. Anybody, can you scroll down and see if anybody else has guessed or anything? Oh. Christine? Christine already already said Pachycephalosaurus. She did? Yeah. And, and then a Drake, a Drake or X. But yeah. Um, so it sounds like the general consensus is that they, you guys think it's Pachycephalosaurus. So. What else? What other when, possibilities? When, when did it, when did you so what when did you say Pachycephalosaurus? Was it after we said after we said that we thought it was a Pachycephalosaurus? Was it? Are you talking to Freddy? Yes. Okay, this is kind of weird because he's off the page. Oh, he's got this guy has kind of long legs, I think. Maybe I'll just make this be his leg. And, 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 and then Freddie also said that does not help. What doesn't help? The, the hint. Neither does. It, it was probably the hint. Oh, you want another hint? Let's see. They lived in the late Cretaceous period between 66 and 72.1 million years ago. Were you on Dragon Girl Hershey? <laughs> There's the other leg. I'm pretty sure it's a Pachycephalosaurus. Who is? The dinosaur. Who's pretty sure? I. Oh, you? I'm pretty sure it's a Pachycephalosaurus. Hmm. Christine, were you guys able to, um, did you guys see the picture I posted of the dinosaur yesterday on the other page? Or on the other Name That Dino Day yesterday? I posted the picture. I have not made a download of it because the sunlight is not very good right now, so I can't get a very good, uh, Okay, so Picture of it. Freddy said something asaurus. Something asaurus. There's a something asaurus among us. Blah, 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 blah. And then there's an earthquake coming. Ah, earthquake. Woo. So aftershock. Ah. Okay. Continue. I still say it's the pistachio one. Is what Christina <laughs> said. Christina said that. I and, think and it's then, a Cashewosaurus. And and then because he's looking really nutty. <laughs> and then um. And then Freddie also said, um. Um, Homa Lock. 
Hey. His neck is not quite long enough, you guys. I don't know how to repair that because I didn't make him. I didn't. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this stuff. He's kind of a. I don't know what. <laughs> He's an I don't know what. He's an I don't know what a Saurus. Because he's not as cute as the other ones were. But the beauty of this stuff is I can use this uh, pastel stuff and move stuff around. So maybe there's still hope for him. Got to get his fingers worked in a little bit better here. I may have to switch over to um, a different name that something or other or find some really unique dinosaurs. A different name Because my so book only has like maybe 10 dinosaurs in it. So, so I'm going to have to do more research. A name that something or other? Yes. Name that whoosie whatsie. Name that whoosie whatsie. Hey, you guys, what's your favorite... What's your favorite thing to draw with? And what is your favorite thing to draw? Let me know in the comments. And then we'll read them out loud. Then we'll say your name, for just your first name, and say out loud to the group what your favorite thing to draw is. So Ben, you got to keep an eye on the yep. Keep an eye on the comments here. Christine said um, uh, a meat eating dino um, uh, after Megalosaurus. What's a meat eating dino? A carnivore. But what's an herbivore? A herbivore is a plant eating dino. Yeah. Is a plant eating dino dino. Oop, it got blurry. Is it still going? Oh, yes, there it goes. It's still going. Sometimes I have to like move my fingers to get the camera to refocus because it's like auto focused. But I still think it's a Pachycephalosaurus. Ben still thinks Pachycephalosaurus. I wonder if he had a tail. Oh yeah, he does have a tail. I just need to work that tail in. There, we'll put the tail put in him. there. Yeah. Let me one other thing is that I, this dinosaur doesn't have too many spines. Are you still sticking with your original guess, you guys? Yes. In a couple minutes here, I'm going to have everybody post what they think their final answer is. Because we're already in 28 minutes. Man, that really passes the time fast. So I guess, I hope if anything, this drawing might not be as good as it was, as good as yesterday's, but hopefully it's giving you some ideas on how to pass the time with your kids. And you're having a little bit of fun. Because I am. I've had fun hanging out with you. Okay. How about when it gets to uh, at in three minutes you need to type in your final answer, whoever's watching. Which is Christine and Christina. So at 33 minutes, put your final answer in, okay? If 
someone says pistachiosaurus, mm -hmm. I don't know what's going to happen to me. Are you going to start raging? No. Yes, I'm, I'm going to explode. I'm, I'm not going to rage, but... Everybody, if you want to see, here's my co-host, Ben, right here. Say hi, Ben. Hello. Hello. And here's my other co-host. There's Harrison. Hello. <laughs> He's very serious. Okay. Let's see. How have I got to do his eye? So what I'm going to do for the eye is I use my fingernail to remove some of this stuff. Fingernail. And he needs a nostril. And he needs a mouth. And then he needs some stuff removed to show some spinage. He's got, he doesn't have spines on his back, but he's got some of these weird nubs and stuff on his head that I'm not quite sure what those are for. Okay, and then I just flick that off. Here's the trick for getting rid of all these chunkies off your paper. You just go like this. You just give it a shake like this. Okay, where's my pen? Is this the pen? Oh, there's another earthquake. Hey, Ben, can you hand me that pen, please? Oh, two more minutes for you to make your final, and then you can make your final guess. There. Yeah, that one. Okay, so we got to do his, I'm going to try and leave some white for the pupil, and then I'm going to give him an iris, or like, no, actually, this is the pupil, and I just make a bunch of C's kind of around that. I'm just going to like half circles and then I need to make another big C to do this part and then if I wanted to I could make that more brown oh see this is getting plugged up should have done this first. Then if I want to put a little bit of white to show where the light is reflecting, I use, these are called gel ink pens. And that's to kind of put the little white part where the light is kind of popping off of his eye. Oh, I got some likes or something. Somebody... Somebody did something. I saw some little things floating up on the screen. Did you see that, Ben? No. I think I'm going to use a pencil. We're at 33 minutes. Oh, we're at 33 minutes. Okay, who's ready for the final answer? There are a bunch of other comments that we missed. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, you were supposed to be keeping up Zaloxis. on that. Zaloxis. Okay, and I'm going to put these final details in here, the deets. This is what kind of helps him start to come to life here. And I'm finding hey. that this uh, pencil works right over the top of the, the whatchamacallit. Holy moly, who's giving me all those smileys? Yay! That's Christine. <laughs> Thank you. The final answer for Christine. Is that your final answer? What's her final answer? This. Say it. Sound it out slowly. This is good it's, practice for it's, reading. It's spelled K-R-I-T-O-S-A-U-S. Ben, help him. Or Harrison, and help Ben read that. It's the highlighted part. Kratosaurus. Kratosaurus. See how once you add the details, it starts to look like something? I'm feeling better now. Gosh, every single time, you guys, I get, like, all stressed out that I'm going to screw up. You'd think I would learn by now. 
need to practice what I preach and not stress out over stuff. It's only a dinosaur. Okay, let's see. So we got, we got to give him a little bit of dimension here for his skull cap. All right, is that enough detail? <laughs> is that enough detail to for me to say it's time to reveal? Because I said I was going to reveal it. Okay. I am going to have uh, Harrison read some of the facts about this creature. There's 15 facts for kids. Does everybody have all their answers up? Okay, Harrison, you can reveal the answer and tell the name some say the facts about it. Okay. So, this dinosaur was discovered between 1859 and 18... Okay, you already said that. Come over here so they can hear you better. It was given its scientific name by Charles W. Gilmore in 1931. Um, its name means thick-headed thick -headed lizard. <laughs> that sounds like something you could say that when you want to be mean to somebody. You thick-headed lizard! Um, they lived in the late Cretaceous period between 66 and 72.1 million years ago. They lived on the North American continent. Hmm. They are estimated to have an average length of 15 feet. Estimated to be over 900 pounds. Um. They were good at headbutting. Believed to be herbivores. They had two arms, as in the picture. Mm -hmm. um, their skull is about was about thirty times thirty times thicker and stronger than a modern day human skull. Whoa, that's um, crazy! Thick, extra thick. Originally, when it was discovered, uh, they thought that its skull was a dinosaur's kneecap. Oh, that's interesting. Can I see what it is? Yeah. Okay. The dinosaur was a, pachyce a pachycephalosaurus. Who can spell that? It's P A C H. No. You can spell it then. P A C H Y, and then uh, it's it it starts with P A C H Y. Um, P A C H Y C E P H A L O S A U R S. Very good. You're going to have to spell it for me again so I can write it on the paper. P. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. Whoop. <laughs> okay, spell it for me. P A P A C C H H Y Y C C E E P P H H A A L L O O S S A A U U R R S Isn't it U R R U U S S There we go everyone Pachycephalosaurus So who all guessed it? Who all guessed Pachycephalosaurus? Only. Well, you and Harrison did. Well, only, only Christine. Christine Lassers? Yeah. Christine or Teddy or Freddie right or whoever here. of your people are watching, you're the winner again. So I'll hang on to this one and give it to you again. sometime around. 
I think I want to let things like just set for a few days just to be safe and then I'll give them away. Um, yeah, or I can send you, take a picture of it and send it to you too. And then you can have the original later on. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you had fun. And it's been 40 minutes. Yeah, we helped, we killed 40 minutes. Woo, that's one less hour of the day. Christine said, nobody. Nobody what? What, what, when you said who guessed it? No. <laughs> oh, that's, is that Freddie saying that probably? And, and then, and then another thing <gasps> that he said before that was GFH capital T question mark. Oh, is it a GIF? Greater than sign <laughs> maybe capital, that's yeah. teddy writing capital d j p o seven u l y r oh my pen is running out you guys yikes what's the date today march 20th it's march yes. 20th yes march 20, 20, 20. That's weird. We have a 20, 20, 20 today. All right, guys. My other half has arrived. We've gotten through the last hour of the day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Can you end the video Tomorrow, then? actually. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.